we back with another video. We on a little run of videos on this Sunday, man. Get that shit out the way. Um, in a little bit, man, if you're watching this video, uh, we about to go live on, on YouTube and do the unofficial <laughs> Kovalev Ward prediction too. And then Monday, we gonna, I'm going to do the official social media prediction. Um, but um, Usyk, the Cruiserweight, said, you know, I look forward to, to squaring up in a square circle versus Anthony Joshua. You know, and if he said he looked forward to squaring up for Anthony Joshua... He thinks he can beat him. You know, I wasn't impressed with him fighting Michael Hunter. You know, um, you know, it seems like the pop wasn't there for the fight. You know, and Michael Hunter came off a long layoff, you know, but he's a very skilled fighter, you know. You can tell. But Usyk grinded him down and damn near should have stopped him anyway. Um, the kid has some skills, you know. Um, seems to have a good chin as well. Um, he's 6'3", so he has the height. Um, how can we build up? I don't know. He's, he's dealing with, you know, Machenko's dad as his trainer now, I think. Um, as crazy as it sounds, man, you know, I like it. You know, he wants to be the best. You know, he has ambitions to be the best. He didn't be like, oh, I, I'm looking forward to fighting, um, you know, Luis Ortiz, or I look forward to fighting Wilder, or I look forward to fighting Tyson Fury, or, you know, whoever. He went straight for the motherfucking king of the heavyweight division. The guy, you know, the, the current guy that's the king. That's what most people believe. And he didn't want no underbosses. He wanted the guy. And I like that. You know, most people believe he probably wouldn't have a shot, you know, because of the way he fights. But I think he's one of those guys. If he's dealing with Lomachenko's dad, and Lomachenko built that father, built that monster known as Lomachenko, I'm pretty sure he he's not stupid enough to fight the way he fights at Cruiserweight. I think this guy, can, can with, with Lomachenko's dad, he seems to be a terrific trainer. You know, I think they can, uh, they will adjust their style at heavyweight. I don't think he's going to be there banging it out with guys. I think he's the type of guy, you know, just knowing his team and knowing what Lomachenko's about, that can make the adjustment to accommodate his, to accommodate his style to survive a heavyweight. You know, like when Thomas Adamick moved up, you know, he he still was trying to fight the same, you know, and at the end of the day, I think Vili uh, Klitschko knocked his ass out, you know, and he ain't been the same since. So I think, you know, he has to frame in my opinion, to put the muscle on. I think they, they're they going to put the muscle on the right way, the weight on the right way. And I think, you know, he he's going to be successful at heavyweight uh, to a certain extent. Will he be Anthony Joshua? You know, only time will tell. You know, most people be like, oh, no, he's crazy. And that's what most people say. I think it was on boxing scene. Oh, he's crazy. He's crazy. You know, maybe he is crazy, but he's daring to be great. He's already talking of the greatness. You know, and he's in, one, in, in he's battle tested. He's in one of the, the the deepest divisions in boxing, cruiserweight. From one to ten, the top ten of the, uh, the cruiserweight, one could be ten, ten could be one. You know, anywhere in between. If you follow the cruiserweight division, who's primarily a European division and not American dominant, so it can't get on American TV. But if you watch it when it is on, or you catch it on, you know, one of those streams, it's a it's a it's a totally competitive division, top to bottom. You know, in the top ten. You know, and, and I look forward to this fight, man. And hopefully it happens. And we'll see.